Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to our channel. This is George Committee and you are watching George Committee e-learning platform. Today we are analyzing the Poisson's ratio and the more and the three moduli. So join me as we solve a problem that we got here. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscription button and we are going to appreciate. Now, the question of the day, for a given material, the Young's modulus of elasticity is uh, 110 giganewtons per square meter. Uh, the modulus of rigidity, 42 giganewtons per square meter. The bar has a diameter of 37.5 millimeters and a length of 2.4 meters. Uh, when it is subjected to an axial tensile load, the bar stretches by 2.5 millimeters. Calculate the bulk modulus of elasticity and the lateral contraction of the bar. Very good. Now we are given the Young's modulus of elasticity and the modulus of rigidity. Now, the connection or the relation between the two is usually given by, by this formula. The Young's modulus of elasticity is usually given by 2 times the modulus of rigidity into 1 plus the Poisson's ratio, which is 1 over m. Remember, m is a constant which is different for different uh, materials like aluminium, iron, steel, all those. They have a different uh, constant m. Uh, remember this, the Poisson's ratio is given by the ratio of lateral strain to that of linear strain. Uh, we have the earth modulus of elasticity, which is 110 giganewtons per square meter. So we are going to have 110 is equal to 2 times the modulus of rigidity is 42 giganewtons per square meter into 1 plus 1 over m. 1 over m. Uh, this one we read as 2, 110 divided by 2 times 42, that is 84, is equals to, uh, when you divide the, this 84 divided by 84, definitely they are going to cancel out, so we are going to have 1 plus 1 divided by m. So 110 divided by 84, that happens to be 1.31, so we are going to have 1.31 is equals 1 plus 1 over m. This one is going to lead us to take 1 this side of the equal sign. We are going to have 1.31 minus 1 is equals 1 over m. Uh, 1.31 minus 1, that is 0 0.31. Therefore, 1 over m, which in this case is the Poisson's ratio, is equal to 0 0.31. So 0 0.31, that is the Poisson's ratio. Um, then we the relation between the Young's modulus of elasticity and the bulk modulus of elasticity is given by this formula. Uh, Young's modulus of elasticity is equals 3 multiplied by k. The bulk modulus is usually denoted by letter k into bracket 1 minus 2 over m. So that is the relation between the Young's modulus of elasticity and the bulk modulus of elasticity. So we have the Young's modulus of elasticity, which is 110. So we are going to have 110 giganewtons per square meter is equals 3 times the bulk modulus of elasticity into 1 minus this 2 over m, we can rewrite it as 2 times 1 over m. 1 over m. Uh, this one will lead us to what? 110 is equals to 3k into 1 minus 2 times. 1 over m is the Poisson's ratio and we had it as uh, 0 0.31. So 2 times 0.31. So we are going to have this 110 is equals 3k into 
1 minus 2 times 0 0.31, that is 1 minus 0 0.62, which is 0 0.38. So this one is going to lead us to 110 is equals 3 times 0 0.38, that happens to be 1.14k. To get the value of k, divide both sides by 1.14, Divide this side by 1.14 as well. And that's going to give us the bulk modulus of elasticity to be 96.5 giga newtons per square meter. So that is the bulk modulus of elasticity. So you have answered part one of that question. Part two of the question, determine the lateral contraction of the bar. Lateral contraction, that is change in diameter. To get the lateral con contraction, we are going to use this formula. The Poisson's ratio, Poisson's ratio, is usually given by the lateral strain divided by the linear strain. And in this case, lateral strain is usually given by change in diameter divided by the original diameter. On the other hand, the linear strain is usually given by change in length divided by the original length. Now, in this case, we have the Poisson's ratio. The Poisson's ratio, we got it. Um, let's determine the linear strain because we can get it. The linear strain we have said that it will be given by changing length divided by the original length. Uh, we are told this, the bar stretches by 2.5 millimeters. Therefore, change in length is 2.5 millimeters divided by the length of this bar is 2.4 meters convert to millimeters. That will be 2.4 times 1,000, which is 2,400. And that is going to give us a, a linear strain of... Um, 1.042 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3. Therefore, that is the linear strain. So we can say that the Poisson's ratio, which we have it as uh, 0 0.31, 0 0.31, that is the Poisson's ratio, is equals to a lateral strain divided by linear strain which is 1.042 times 10 raised to power negative 3, or 0 0.001042. Now we can make the lateral strain the subject. And when we do that, we are going to have this. The lateral strain will be given by 0 0.31 times 0 0.001042. That is what we are going to have. Now, lateral strain, as we have said, that is given in change in diameter divided by the original diameter. And in this case, that is 0 0.31 times 0 0.001042. Now, we can make change in D the subject. And change in D will be given by 0. 31 times 0 0.001042 times the diameter of this bar, which is 37.5 millimeters. So we multiply this by 37.5 millimeters. And this is going to give us a, a change in diameter of 0 0.01211 millimeters. And therefore, the lateral construction, which is change in diameter, lateral contraction of this bar is equal to 0 0.01211 millimeters. And therefore, there is a gentleman. That's how we go about it. And we have already answered the two questions that we were supposed to ask. The bulk modulus of elasticity is there. The lateral contraction is there as well. And we thank you for your continued support. 
If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. We are going to appreciate. Let's meet in yet another lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you.